Milton's experience is diverse. After completing his economics degree, he started with accounting at the accounting firm Price Waterhouse Coopers, better known as PwC, before joining the RGM Financial Group as a partner and director. He has owned an importing and distribution business, a cattle and horse stud, an equestrian centre, and competed at a national level in three-day eventing. He was the CEO at Federation Square, running the Transport Hotel Group and Taxi Kitchen, and owned, and owned with the multi-award multi winning Campaspe Country House in Wood End. You have one hell of a record. Amazing. Milton is going to share with you his experience on how small business changes communities. Would you please give a massive warm welcome to our first speaker, Milton <laughs> Collins. Small businesses change communities. Like their owners, small businesses came in all shapes and sizes. And that is a great diversity that allows communities to thrive. If you have a range of people in a community that are committed, it actually creates character. And with that, the passion they have in running the business. And especially too when they're personal and up front. And when you d work with them, you get to meet them and spend time with them and they get to know you too and also know how you have your coffee or what you need in other products too. It's not just retail, but a street filled with cool coffee shops has real character and it's something that locals are proud of. And with that too, you can then bring guests along and, and encourage tourists too. And it creates a community around that environment too. And you would have seen that, especially over later years, with ca uh, cafes and restaurants all combining and growing, creating fabulous communities. And I think that's really important too. Uh, to go through. So with that, that character and tourists, it, it's great. It um, then also allows quirky shops, like vintage shops to create in areas too, or even high-end fashion boutiques, or a whole range. And it's those sort of things that give communities character. And that character is so important, because it actually gives back. Because the small business people are committed to the community. They get involved in sport and a whole range of activities. They may play sport, they may sponsor the local sporting clubs, they may even coach them. And I think that's really good for a community too. It also helps the small business owner to understand that. I mean, their kids are in the area, they play sport too. They may even coach their children in the sport. And that's, that's so important too. Because they rely on the community, they need to have that respect and they need to have that knowledge and also exposure. So that th straight away, the community benefits. Now, small business people have their heart in it. And they really thrive on that too. And they're passionate about what they do if they want to be successful. And that's so important if in any business that passion comes through. They're also people people. And that's great too because they build good teams around them if they're clever. And also they provide for their customers too. They get to know their customers by name and how they have their coffee, as I mentioned. That's so important too because you feel wanted. And that you don't get from the bigger. When was the last time you went into a la to Bunnings and they greeted you by name? Very different approach. So that character is great for tourism. It's great for uh, employment and bringing talented people to the area too. They're also influential and clever people. They have to be to survive in business. They may be well qualified or they may have just learnt the school of hard knocks and learned along the way. They have to be experts in marketing, in financial management, recruitment, uh, motivation, team management. If they don't, the business won't thrive. So if you're involved with a school group or anything else, it'd be good to have a small business person on the school council or helping revitalise the community because they make things happen. If you shop locally, and you should, it helps provide more money in the community which gets circulated. It creates that money back into it. If you've got larger businesses, the money goes to shareholders. It doesn't go back to the owners and the community. They also create jobs. Jobs for the locals and for your children too. Part-time jobs, um, which you can do because you're local. You don't have to travel too far. Fabulous for mums and babies or other carers who look after children where they can work locally and have, be able to divide that too. Plus the people who work in there can be involved in the community too, for lunches, drinks after work, running errands and their breaks, which they can do in a local area too, which is 
very important too. And once again, that creates more community. The clever ones have a niche market. They do something special which draws people to them. But all, not only just the locals, but also people who read about them and hear about them. And so they'll come for special products that have a regional, seasonal and local flavour which works. Restaurants are a great example, especially small locally owned ones because they can concentrate on regional dishes, local foods and provide the community. But also they can read the community and adapt to the neighbourhood needs and wants. The other businesses have more difficulty doing that too if they're locked in. So, you know, quirky cafes have, have different angles. Um, this one here attracting the Lycra set, you know, fantastic to, not only for the locals, but it's a destination cafe for people to cycle to. Think small business. They are the heart and soul of community. If you support them, they'll support you. And that sense of community will grow and the community will become stronger. If small businesses thrive, then so does the community. It will attract more people to the community and much better wealth and depth of culture. Small businesses definitely change communities. Thank you.